up y'all hey i'm out here still working on smokers uh the ones in the last video i got all those done and they're ready to go but i got some more of them going now some uh 40 inch reverse flows over there but anyway i needed to get started on this rack because i got it it's friday now and i got to go to the steel yard monday get some flat bar and stuff get a whole bunch of stuff but flat bar is one of the reasons i'm building this rack to go on the top so anyway i'm gonna get started on that thing i'm gonna walk around there in a minute and show you where i've been hitting the windshield with it but uh, I got some tubing here, and I don't have enough tubing. I only got three sticks, but I'm going to try to make it enough. It ain't going to be quite as long as I wanted it to be. But, but anyway, uh, I'll show you the tubing, and I'll go around there and show you where I'm shattering the windshield. This is all the tubing. I got this one cut. I'm just going to cut them in half without the chop saw because it's easier than getting that long sucker in there. But uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the bottom runner 11 foot. And the top runner over there, 10 foot, and then build them up and go. You know how utility racks look on top of a truck. But anyway, I'm going to walk over to the truck and show you how that looks and show you what's going on. All right, so here's the truck. Look, I got the tailgate holding it up. I busted the handle on that thing, and now I got to take this plastic off to open it if I close it. And all I had to do was move that trailer back and forth, so I just used a ratchet strap to hold it up. Cause I know I'm never gonna fix that handle. It's usually down anyway because I have plate back there. When it's a whole sheet of plate, you can't close the tailgate anyway, so it really don't matter. But anyway, these are the racks that's on there. This one is removable, that one's bolted down up there. And probably all I'm gonna do, I may get up there and tack this thing on the top of them, and I may get up there and bolt it. I'm probably gonna bolt it. That way I can take it off if I want to, and then I can still take this off. There's just a little tie wire in there holding it on there but anyway this is what's going on i haul all the tubing all the angle iron everything up there and all that stuff that's stiff it's not a problem it comes right on off but the flat bar when it falls off the other stuff and hits that windshield it shatters it right there i guess you can see that through that tent and i've smacked it twice in the past month probably. <laughs> i've been smacking the mess out of that thing and it's all cracked up well, that crack was already there, so I needed a windshield anyway, so it's not that big a deal. But with it steady falling off there, it's eventually going to really shatter that thing. You can't hardly see it from out here. But you can sure tell in there, and I hear it every time it hits it too. So anyway, that's the reason for this. And like I say, I wanted to make it a little longer, but I don't have enough tubing. Because most of the steel comes in 20 foot lengths or a lot of pipe comes in 21 uh you can get 24s so with making it 11 foot across the bottom that's still nine foot that's going to be hanging off you know four and a half on each side but it's going to help and if anything else i might have to extend it later on so anyway i'm gonna get to cutting this stuff get some of the rust off of it so we can start putting it together
put the thing on top of the truck. Uh, that last little clip I showed was pretty much it besides welding the thing out. And I ended up welding it up there instead of making a little bolt plate for it and bolting it on just to go ahead and get it done. And uh, <clears throat> I did put the welds in some easy spots to cut off in case I had to cut it off. And uh, just for any reason, I probably won't unless I just want to. But anyway, this is how it looks up there. It's almost dark out here, so. And I didn't paint it anything. The other two racks aren't painted. There's no reason to paint it. And like I say, I wish I'd have got it a little bit longer. <clears throat> but that's what I had as far as the tubing. So it's 11 foot on the bottom. And I put the welds in some easy places. And that way I could just go in with a cutting blade on a grinder and cut them back off of there if I wanted to. But that's it, that ought to at least keep me from busting that windshield anymore. It got around, let me show, I'm gonna walk up there and see how far it got over the windshield. Well, it got to right before the windshield, which will be just fine because that's gonna stop that tubing or that uh, flat bar from going down and smacking that thing. And like I say, that'll also make it a lot easier to strap it down. There's a part on the, uh, where I have to go get it, part of the interstate right there. It's got those kind of whoop de woos in the road. Like when you're trying to level something out with a dozer and don't get it quite flat, it just keeps dipping and dipping. And man, that stuff will be flying all over the place up there. It'll bend it sometimes. And anyway, that'll stop it from bending and everything. <coughs> so uh, that'll do it on that. Uh, I think the next one, I'm, I might be doing a little fire pit. I got it right here. It's just a little small air compressor fire pit, nothing fancy. Uh, I need to get it done. I started messing with it today. You don't want to burn that paint off with a torch, man. You'll be there forever burning that crap off with a torch. I think I'm gonna light a fire, a bunch of cardboard and bushes and stuff around it and burn the paint off. But uh, I need to get this thing wrapped up before I do any more to that. I probably won't, I kind of jump around a lot of times. So anyway, that'll do it on this video, man. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Uh, I know I'm gonna have the headache rack coming for that other truck soon and hopefully the back bumper. It's just trying to squeeze a little bit of stuff in at a time that, that I'm not getting paid for, that I'm not spending money on, you know. I'm trying to uh, do more stuff that's paid for than me spending for. But anyway, man, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Y'all come back for the next one. We'll see you then.